we saw this game on E3 2015 and it has finally come out. Yes, it is the next iteration of Dead Trigger and it has been renamed to Unkilled. But is it worth all of the fuss? Let's find out. So hey, what's up guys, it's me Lexman here and today I'm gonna review on Unkilled for the Android and the iOS. Unkilled is a game where you are Joe, a member of the anti-zombie unit known as Wolfpack and your objective is to find, track and eliminate all the zombies before they create a global disaster. One of the key features that Madfinger game emphasizes upon is the stellar graphics. It's not the best that I have seen but hey, it's still gorgeous. The visuals do come with a bit of a performance hit on some of the older devices. But thanks to Unkill's magnificent controls, players are able to play this game even with a lower frame rate. Speaking about the controls, Unkill has one of the best controls that I've ever seen in a first person shooter game. While many mobile shooters have failed to provide a balance between the movement and shooting, Mad Finger games just nailed it. You don't need to tap to shoot an enemy. Just aim the gun on him and BOOM, the bad guys will be down for the count. My initial expression upon this control scheme was that it would make this game more or less like a cakewalk. But it turns out that this method removed a lot of headache of quickly aiming and firing. You must take into note that there are some levels which require you to actually shoot the enemies and your movement is restricted. So it's either this or that. The gameplay of this game is solid. Although the weak enemies are easy to destroy, the mini bosses and bosses can sometimes become a royal pain. There are tons of levels present in this game and it's still expanding. The design of the levels of this game are just magnificent. I did encounter with some optimization bugs but that didn't bother me. The soundtrack present in this game is pretty good. The monetization present in this game is really boasting. But that wasn't the real issue to me because I only played this game every once in a while. The only thing that I felt really bad is the time exclusive items which last for a very 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 short amount of time. Not cool. The collection of weaponry and items present in this game is pretty huge. In overall, I must say that this is one of the best looking mobile shooters out in the market. While the monetization is a bit boasting, there is no denying the fact that no other company, I mean it, no other company except this one was able to provide a fun shooter game that I personally enjoyed. So kudos to Mad Finger Games. And for those who don't know, this is a free to play game and if you are interested by any chance to play this game, click on the top right corner to learn more. So that's pretty much it for my review. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment letting me know how can I improve my videos and please don't forget to subscribe. And if you are looking for what to watch next. I think you can watch the review of Eternity Warriors 4 which is not yet launched. So thank you guys and have a nice day.